hey, if you take off your shirt, I'm going to stone you to death. <laughs> so I used to tell people, depending on what comedy club you go to or open mic you go to, you might see me on stage regretting my decision and bombing. But that's back when I was with ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you vote Hillary to get back at your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, it only works when Hillary actually wins. And it doesn't help when she posts a photo with her new boyfriend saying, thanks for making the name Austin great again. <laughs> so I had a very rough set once upon a time. I had this drunk homeless guy heckle me during the entire thing. And there was no bouncer, no one who could help me to take him out of here. It's like work out, you can tell. And it's like, I can't, I can't engage him, it's sad, he's homeless, he's drunk, and he can't do that, it's, I can't, it's, I can't, it's, it's too mean, I don't do that. But on the way home, I did that, oh, I did that. I thought of every, <laughs> everything I could have said to that guy, I went all out. I was just like, yeah, you can, you can say what you want to say, but when I go home, my sleep number isn't concrete. <laughs> 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 so yeah, you can, you can probably tell that I dabble in dating with smart girls. I mean, I, I know that they're smart because they always do the right thing, which is leave. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cat. He's, a, he's actually the greatest wingman you could ever have. He's completely trained. He's got a whole bag of tricks. And that's what I'll do. I'll have him do the tricks and be like, hey, come on up, buddy. And he jumps up on my arms and command, and it's great. It's perfect. It works. It gets, it gets the awe every time. It's just so, it's, it's the most helpful thing in the world. you, you got to believe me, guys. And if it doesn't work out with the girl, then it's okay. Because every once in a while, I get a little pussy that jumps on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. It's good to. Do you want to go over some time? <laughs> really neat thing. I can. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I have this idea of this, this, this airline where you can, when you buy your ticket, you can check some boxes on things that you're interested in and then get seated next to someone and then talk to them during the duration of the flight would be called social airways. And taking off soon, the idea of not being okay. <laughs> Anyone here like Netflix? Yeah! Oh, yeah, all right. Let's actually, let's give it a round for Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Streaming? Yeah, I love streaming. I'm always streaming. Especially when I'm alone. <laughs> and then if I'm, if I'm not alone, just, you know, the Netflix and chill thing, whatever that is. <laughs> so, but speaking of streaming alone, I follow the direction this morning. I use my feet, so I can't say I beat it single-handedly. <laughs> but I can say my morning started a bit offhand. <laughs> Which balances the hands-on night I had. Oh. Hands on my phone. Oh. Texting a girl I know about. Well, I thought I knew her well. Right when things got a little serious, you know, like we actually meet or something like that. She was like, I'm gender fluid. Switching from her birth gender, female to male, and back and forth. I was like, that's, you know, that's great. I'm happy for you. Good luck. So I got out of there. I told my friend, told my friend that, and she's like, "Oh, so I guess you could say we're both having guy problems." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Be great.